Hello Architects and welcome back to another RPG Architect tutorial. My name is Bert and today we're going to be going over setting up dialogue options for your NPCs for stuff like shops, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and hit F8 or Tools Database. Let's jump in there. Let me drag my window over. Um, this should be pretty straightforward, honestly. If you haven't watched the message box tutorial, I suggest you watch that one first. That was way back, probably about a year ago at this point, but check that one out first. Come back to this one or watch this first and then go check that out. Whatever. Do your thing, man. I'm going to use this second one here. That was just a, a little oopsie I did on that first tutorial. Let's gonna, we're going to call this message books. Uh, options sure uh, I'm gonna get rid of basically these three elements just gonna start with my BG I'm gonna reposition this one it's you guys know how this goes you just kind of gotta position your windows accordingly we're gonna do I don't know 30 now nah, probably 20 let's do 25 and then let's uh, send it over on the right side, let's drop it down somewhere about. Let's pop it up here, I guess. Where's. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Sure, anyway, okay. Get your BG pane where you want it to be, probably better than what I've got. And then you are going to create a list element. We're gonna call this one, ah, whatever. Options, options. We're gonna call it options, there we go. This is our list element. Um, we need to change this user interface type. I was getting ahead of myself. Change this from message box to dialogue. Then down here below, we're going to change the background element. We're going to set it to BG. We're going to do the options element to options. For right now, I'm going to take shrink vertically and horizontally off. Uh, we will come back to that. I will show you what those options do. You can probably figure it out by the name, but we're going to keep this one a vertical orientation. We are going to... Yeah, okay, now let's add in a couple things. And we'll just do two for right now. We'll do yes and no. Hey, real quick, Editor Bert here. I just wanna make a note that this is not where you define the actual options listed. This is just a placeholder, so you can put in option one, option two, you can put in red, blue, green, orange, whatever you wanna put in. You define what is actually listed in the dialog at a later date, and you will see that. I just wanted to specify that here to clear up any confusion. Okay, back to the video. And as usual, you can see they populated up top, in the top left. So we're going to go ahead and set the font size. I tend to go with 36 in my examples. Set it to whatever you'd like. We are going to send it over with the position, relative X, uh, 60 to start. Send it over a little bit more. We're going to drop it down. about there let's see let's go ahead and on item appearance let's do text margin bottom we'll do 10 okay now yeah, let's do 15 let's just spread it out a little bit more and then we need a cursor so come back up here we're gonna set our arrow cursor that we love to use where do I have that UI this guy set your dimensions for your graphic um, and then I'm going to set the type to pointer left, and there it pops up. We need to offset it a little bit. 12 and 5. Okay, we're going to start with that. I'm going to show you. I mean, this is really the gist of it. There's a couple little nuances we can set up, so let's start with this. Um, let's grab, yeah, let's just grab her. I'm gonna pop a new one up here. My database keeps popping up in my second window for some reason. I don't, I don't think it usually does that. I think it's. And let's grab. Uh, sure, let's grab this purple lady. Purple lady bok choy. That's a thing. And we're gonna change her message. Let's see. 
So you can see here under the message scripts, we have display dialogue options, right? And we select that, you have some basics. So we can select our template. We have message books options. That's what we would select to display the options. Um, generally though, I think you would probably want a message prior to this. So we'll do a display static message. We'll call her purple lady bok choy. I think it's see. I think it's like that actually bok choy. Um, set her message template to message books. This is the one I set up a long time ago. Just whatever message box template you have, you there. Block input to prevent your character from walking around in the middle of it. Um, she's gonna ask a question. Do you is question. Um, I'm not gonna give her a portrait. I don't need to do that for this one. You guys know how to do that. So she's gonna ask, you talk to her, she's gonna ask, do you is question. And then it's gonna pop up our dialogue options. And to set up our dialogue options, you just hit this little plus button. Um, I'm gonna put in, what? And I'm gonna do another one. And I'm gonna put in, yes. This is super confusing, right? Here, I'll tell you what, let me, <laughs> Just to not be so weird, I'll do yes, and I'll do what is the second one as my no. That makes sense, yeah? Okay, that, <laughs> that one little change. And then, you can see up here, uh, you can cancel the dialogue option if you'd like, you set it there, or if you would like to have this message stay up on the screen, you click maintain last message displayed. So if I didn't have this clicked, she would ask this and then it would go away and you would just have your uh, options there. Okay, that makes sense, right? Um, so then you can see below each option you have another script. So when you select yes, she can say, I'll just have her to display another message, right? She'll say congratulations. And then, oh, use your message box template. Purple lady bok choy. Uh, and if you say what, she'll say, do message box. Just copy this. Just save my some time. <laughs> I can't talk. Save some time. Purple lady bok choy. If you say what, she'll say, you know what? You're right. There we go. Okay. Let's just test that out. See what happens. Should be bueno. Drag this guy over. Let's go talk to her. Do you is question? Yes. What? So we'll say yes. And we can scroll through our options. Yes. Congratulations. And it ends. We'll go to her again. Do you is question? What? You know what? You're right. There we go. Okay. Now you may have noticed uh, that I have all this extra space and that's because I just set it up poorly initially. But, but, but let's go back into our in database. Now, if you say you have some options or some, uh, yeah, some, some dialogue options where you have two choices, but what if you had later in the game, you have some that had three or four choices? So let's just type in option three, option four, okay? I can set it up like this, but if I come back here, right again, just show you. If I talk to her, she's still only gonna give me two options because that's what I set up in the script here. I only gave her two options. But if I add, uh, another option, let's just say option three. And you know, I'm not gonna add a script, you guys know. You guys understand the scripting. Option three, I come over here and talk to her, to you as question, option three is now available. So what you can do, I swear I gotta drag it over every time, okay, it's fine. Um, to fine tune this, to account for different situations on your 
uh, over here on the side, we have shrink horizontally and shrink vertically. I'm gonna select shrink vertically. Now, depending on how many options I have, it's gonna shrink the window, but it's gonna do something, something I'm gonna, um, something you may not be expecting. I'm just gonna show you, okay. So we have three options, right? And it's gonna shrink the window. Do use question. And it's kinda a little wonky looking, okay? That's okay, there is a way around it. There's a way to fix that. Really, you just have to come and set up a text margin, but you wanna set it up on your background pane, okay? This might look a little weird at first, but you scroll down to your positioning. At the bottom here, you got margin, top right, bottom left, in that order, not really. And you just add a margin to things. Now, it's gonna look a little weird in your preview, but if you do some fine tuning, let's, let's just say 40. Let's just start with 40. See, it looks a little weird here, okay? That's all right. Um, let's play, bring it over. Let's talk to her again. And there we go, look at that. We got some nice margins set up. It's a little bit uh, heavier on the bottom, um, but with some fine tuning, you can work that all out. And now, since I've shown you with three options, let's just go ahead and show you that this works with the, uh, the um, shrinking. So let's go ahead and add option four. Option four is, we're gonna say option four is orange with two R's. And just apply it, okay. Let's come over and talk to her. And now we've got four options and the window has adjusted. Very cool, very, very simple. Um, so yeah, you can use that to set up all sorts of uh, configurations. If you have different um, conversation points, you can have your character, you know, say different things or if you just have want to have the similar window for a yes or no question for a shop or whatever you guys get it you have full custom ability on how to do it and then even further like I showed you whatever you say whatever you list out you can script out events for each individual option okay makes sense get it got it good all right awesome Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't, like and subscribe. Um, be sure to check out the Discord. If you don't have a copy of RPG Architect and, and you're watching this, you're like, oh, this engine's amazing. Well, it is on the Steam Summer Sale right now, so you can get it for, I believe, 20% off at the moment of this recording. So do check it out if you haven't already. If you'd like to support this channel even further, uh, beyond just picking up a copy of the engine, you can become a member by clicking that join button below. You get early access to, tutori to tutorials, to, uh, you get access to uh, special emojis, you get access to a um, loyalty badge next to your name. All very cool options uh, if you would like to support our work even further. And we very much appreciate it if you do. And if not, it's totally cool. You're still part of the community. We still love you. Okay. Uh, I think that's going to do it for me for right now. As always, you have been amazing. I have been Bert, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.